Ohio Gazimas. In this video, we're going to be reviewing in detail six basic kicks Kogan Getty, the in step kick, Kensetsu Getty, the 45 degree kick, Mai Getty, front snap kick, Yoko Getty, side kick, Mawashi Getty, roundhouse kick, and the Goju Mawashi Getty, Goju roundhouse kick. For each kick, we're going to be reviewing the mechanics of the kick, the kicking surface of the foot, as well as some specific key points to remember. While there are a lot more kicks to karate than these six basic kicks, these are critical for self-defense and sparring. More importantly is that they're the foundation for more advanced kicks. So it's very critical that you understand the mechanics and the proper execution of each of these kicks. That begins with the kicking surface of the foot. What part of the foot are you kicking with? So what I want to do right now is review with you what those five surfaces of the foot are. The blade, the instep, the ball of the foot, and the arch. The first kick we're going to do is a Kogan Getty. One last comment before I get into those is that one of the key aspects of every kick is the mechanics and that starts with the knee. So if you'll notice with some exceptions, virtually every kick starts with the movement of the knee and that's going to be critical for the power and the speed and the height that the kick is executed at. So first is Kogan Getty, in-step kick. I'll do it quickly and then I'll do it slowly and then we'll talk about some key, a few key points. Now, slowly. The key with the Kogan Getty is you notice it's growing level right about here does not come above the belt. And the other is that the foot is pointed to expose the instep. The next kick is Kensetsu Getty, 45 degree kick. This kick is aimed at the knee, so once again it is very low. Setsu Getty uses the blade of the foot to attack the knee. The next kick is Mai Getty, front snap kick. This is the fundamental kick of virtually every martial arts, but especially karate. Multiple kicking surfaces can be used with the Mai Getty, but for this, we want you to practice with the ball of the foot. Very important to recognize that the first movement is bringing the knee up and keeping it up. You do not want to bring it up and kick down like this. Bring the knee up, bring the foot out, bring the foot back to the knee, and then down. Knee, foot, knee, ground. Knee, foot, knee, ground. The next kick is the Yokogeti or side kick. For this exercise, we will use the heel of the foot. Once again, the knee comes up first before the leg is extended. Knee, foot, knee, ground. The next kick is Mawashi Getty, or roundhouse kick. Another very important fundamental kick of karate. We will be using the instep of the foot. So once again for this kick, make sure that your toes are pointed like a ballerina to expose the instep. So the Mwashi Getty, turn the foot, kick. Pivot on the foot, kick. And
the last kick is a goju mwashigeti. It's a mwashigeti in that it still comes from the side around. However, it's unique to goju in that there's no other foot movement. It's like a quick kick using the ball of the foot into the rib area. So notice that the foot comes around. It's not up like this. It comes around and in. So those are the six basic kicks that you need to learn to really create a foundation for more advanced kicks for your self-defense and for your sparring. A few key points to remember, the five kicking surfaces, the instep, the blade, the ball of the foot, the heel, and the arch. As you notice, we did not do any kicks with the arch of the foot. Once again, those are more for more advanced kicks. The knee movement is critical. The knee movement is critical and very important. It helps build these muscles. It helps stretch these muscles. And the stronger and more flexible these hip flexor muscles are, the higher and faster your kicks will be. So now it's your turn. Remember, perfect practice makes perfect. Ohio Gazamas, and Arigato.